Hi, I'm Rich Masabney, uh, the Arlington Weekly News, and we're really happy. We, we like the Virginia Opera people. They're favorites of ours. And Russell Allen, the guy who heads it up and all, uh, he's been here before, but not tonight. But what we have tonight is uh, Robert Chenante. Uh, he's a statewide director of education and outreach for Virginia Opera. Uh, and Danielle Messina, a Virginia Opera Herndon Foundation Emerging Artist, right? <laughs> That's right. So you're emerging, huh? I am. Okay. How long have you been uh, with the Virginia Opera? I've been here since September 9th. So oh, just oh, just over, easy. yeah, I'll go easy. six weeks, right? Yeah, something like something that. Something like that. And okay, so I want to ask you, uh, Robert, uh, tell our people about the Virginia Opera, you know, in just a sentence or two, and then about its education outreach programs. How, how is that? manifest itself. Yes, sir. Thank you for having us here today. Uh, the Virginia Opera is one of the leading regional opera companies in the United States, and in fact, the only opera company in the United States that operates in three different markets, Northern Virginia, Central Virginia, and Hampton Roads, and we are currently in our 41st season as a company. Um, as far as education and outreach, not long after the company started, um, we had educational outreach programs that at this point in the company's history go statewide, um, not only in our three markets, but really all over the state, as far as Wise County. And we do a lot here in Northern Virginia with schools oh, yeah. in Fairfax, Arlington, and Alexandria. Yeah, I can tell you, uh, I go to Virginia Opera up here in Fairfax, and uh, <laughs> the place is always packed because uh, you got a great reputation, and deserving so. Now, Danielle, uh, you are the newest recipient of the Herndon Foundation Emerging Artist Program. Tell us about yourself a little bit and how you became an emerging artist. Sure. Well, I'm from Poughkeepsie, New York, yeah. and I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts and a Master of Music uh, in voice performance. Mm. So um, as a, an emerging artist at Virginia Opera, right now, this fall, I am uh, the, the resident soprano in the educational tour, as Robert was talking about. Um, so what my role is this fall is to go with two other singers, a mezzo and a baritone, and a pianist. Uh -huh. And we have a Virginia opera van, and we go around to schools all over Virginia, whether it's down in Suffolk or as far up here um, in Arlington, Alexandria, yeah. and Fairfax, and all over the state. And we sing to, um, we sing for young children, so kindergarten through fifth grade. Oh, that's wonderful, that's wonderful. Um... When do you expect to be up here in Northern Virginia? Well, as far I mean, as... You're here now. But yeah, I mean, we're here now. Yeah. We have some shows um, next week in Alexandria, and then coming up in uh, a little bit mid-November, later November, we'll be in Arlington. Um, and we go into the elementary schools and sing a 37-minute okay. show oh, for beautiful, these children. beautiful. Now, Robert, uh, what about Operation uh, Opera? Sounds like uh, Virginia Opera is presenting many operas throughout the state. Is that sure? Sure. Uh, Operation Opera is more on our community outreach side, and this is through Dr. Glenn Winters. In fact, the, the yeah. piece that Danielle mentioned uh, is called A Trickster Trilogy. This is a new work by Dr. Winters. Dr. Winters is our community musical outreach director, yeah. and Operation Opera is Dr. Winters going throughout the state um, to colleges, universities, lifelong learning programs, yeah. and lecturing people on usually the operas that we're presenting on the main stage and yeah. as part of this he also delivers all our pre-opera lectures yeah, including I've the two performances. Some of them out in Fairfax. Yeah, yes. He does a good job. Yeah. Uh, Danielle, uh, you're part of Virginia Opera's educational research tour this season. What role are you playing again? Well, because it's a, called a trickster trilogy, there are three small operas that we do. So I am Becky Thatcher in uh, Tom Sawyer. Okay. I'm a woman named Queen Pauline in a, a German um, opera called Till Eulenspiegel. And then um, in the third uh, trilogy, uh, I am the cook. Oh. So we're, we, we, what this, what Glenn Winters um, thought up was to hone in, um, focus in on one particular type of opera character, which this happens yeah, to be the yeah. trickster. Very good, very good. And uh, let's see, uh, you're, you're going to the Kennedy Center too, uh, Robert? Are you, are you uh, I, I see a note here, 
Oh, I, I, I get it. I'm sorry. They're not as, uh, the Virginia Opera tickets are not as expensive as the Canada. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, can you give me an idea just the cost of the tickets? Would you know that? Uh, I believe tickets start at, at $48. Yeah, yeah, much cheaper than uh, going downtown. Uh, now, what are your career goals, Danielle? Well, as um, an emerging artist here at Virginia Opera, yeah. um, I am, uh, uh, gosh, being, I'm able to have coachings and gain experience um, so that this is sort of a, a stepping stone in my career so that I can um, gain experience and network with Virginia Opera. And so the hope is that if I do an excellent job here, that maybe I would be hired back soon. Wonderful. And that sure. then I would be, um, this experience will then hopefully um, make my career yeah. blossom into something into something of course. great. Now we're closing out. I just want to thank you again, Robert uh, uh, Chinante and Daniel uh, Messina here. Uh, Virginia Opera now on the Doing La Boheme, and it'll be on Saturday, November 14 at 8 p.m. and Sunday, uh, November 15 at 2 p.m. Um, at the at the uh, George Mason George University George Mason Center for the Arts. Center for the Arts, right? Yes, we've well, been there for uh, 24 years. That long now? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you both so much for thank taking you, the time Rich. to talk to us. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Thank you. So glad to be here. Thank you. Thanks. Nice to have you. <laughs> and Tom Hanks, but that's another story. Okay, thank you.